So guys, welcome to this wonderful. So if you're new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more future updates. So in this tutorial, I want us to look at how to create a ZIVPN, ZIVPN files using the SSH direct protocol. Okay, so this one is going to be a simple one. We just have to create our SSH account, then get our payload and proxy, then configure it and that's all. So let's go to this website called uh, hacker.com. Sorry. On their home page, let's scroll down. So you can use this first one, which is the SSH direct, or you can scroll down and use their socks slash web socket so any of them will work okay all you need to do is just to check on the this in ssh direct in the vpn okay so you can use you know they can use the ssh direct on their protocol list or we can use the web socket okay so you let's use the web socket this one for the meantime so you click on it scroll down a little bit you choose your server so let's choose the first server normally you have to choose a server which is closer to your country so that you get a faster and stable connection i click on create you scroll down a little bit again here you type in your logins your username username in the password they come and check I understand they click on create you wait for some few seconds scroll down small check I'm not a robot you scroll down a little the type confirm request so on this particular site their servers are very stable and fast this that their validation date uh, is quite short which is three days okay so the account has been created so let's there is the host name the username the password so let's copy these three things okay let's copy them paste them in a notepad So after pasting them in our notepad, let's go and get the payload and the proxy. So let's go to this one dot this one info dot xyz. Okay. Tap on the home this one. Click on choose. You scroll down a little then you click on payloads and proxies so here we are going to copy the payload and the proxy so let's choose this particular one let's choose this one okay then you scroll down a little in the process to you choose this one let's choose this one or you can choose any of them but if you try one and it's not working then you come and change it okay so as time goes on i will continue updating it so let's choose this particular one then let's move to the vpn this is the vpn zi vpn if you don't have it you can get it on play store okay so we are going to paste the username and the password okay so let's go and copy them from the notepad so this is the host name so this is the username 
is the password let's copy them all at once so let's go back to the VPN so here let's paste the username is the username in the password you bring the colon then you paste in the password password then you bring the add sign to here after bringing the add sign you're supposed in the normal ssh protocol you paste the host name but this one is the ssh direct protocol so this one you paste in the remote proxy instead of the host name so this is the remote proxy then you bring in the colon then the ports which is 80 so in here we are done with this section so let's go to the top left corner the three lines over there you click on it they select payload so you're going to paste in the payload that you copied from the this one info so in the payload you make some changes so we delete we delete or we clear the old host name okay then paste in the new one that we got from the ssh account the hacker.net hacker.com so let's paste it good so we are done click on apply okay so let's check the payload it has been unchecked so let's check the payload because we are using the payload in the in the, in the talent process so let's cross check we have the username password remote proxy and the port okay so we click on start then after click on start we come and click on log to check whether it is connected or not so start let's click on the log okay let's wait for some seconds then see what happens okay it is connecting so good connected so this is how simple to go about it but one thing is that if you try using a particular proxy and it's not working then you have to change it okay this one is very simple okay so stay tuned to our channel in our next tutorial we'll be looking at how to use vps okay uh -huh. we will create content about vpns so stay tuned i'll show you how to go about everything thank you for watching